put on the uh, murder cup here. So this is the Sutton exhaust. It is not the most expensive performance exhaust you can put on the Super Cub. Um, I had a leading edge exhaust on one of my prior Cubs. I really enjoyed it. It's a well-tuned, excellent exhaust. This is about half the price and is extremely durable. Um, so you get the whole kit, comes everything you need. The only real modification you have to do to the airplane is you have to modify your cowl where it comes out. So you have to figure out where exactly that hole is for the exit on the pipe. Um, that can be a little challenging, so uh, it's actually better to take the counting completely off. You can put a template under it with a like, piece of paper, and you can kind of pre find that hole, remount your cow, put that over as a template, and you can and you can find that. So what you end up getting is pretty complete. They even include a little baggie with new um, no blow um, gaskets and Lycoming hardware, and you get your four stack risers here that those will go on and then the exhaust butts up to that and then it uses these these clamps and just kind of bolts and nuts on there which, uh, which is kind of nice i think this actually helps you know kind of some vibration damping and you know you kind of maybe limit a little bit of cracking in the exhaust and if you ever have to take it off and replace it it's a little bit easier you don't always have to pull the pull it right out of the, pull the cylinder exhaust studs out and uh, mess with that you can just you can drop that um this one's different than the last one I did. The last one, it just came with about a piece like this, and then you can kind of custom cut as you want. Uh, now they're, I guess, including it with uh, a little kind of exhaust pipe that you can run on here and kind of figure out how you want that, or maybe not even do it at all. Kind of depends. Um, outside of that, this one is the higher heat version. So they sell it in, I think, two different versions, and this one has the the more heavy duty heat exchanger on the inside and that allows it to produce a little bit more cabin heat um so if you're in a colder climate it's probably probably the way to go and then also this little piece here which it will fit on two right here so you mount it and cut that hole out right there and that's where it's going to get its ram air for your for your heater air now um, so that's how that piece works. Like I said, these are really heavy duty, extremely thick. And it's nice. Just get, you basically put all those on, kind of just finger tight. We'll go ahead and go through. I'll get it kind of temporarily mounted up here so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. All right. So you get two different sizes of exhaust stacks here. The way it goes is your long ones are the ones that go on the back. So through this one. Got the no blow washer, blood washer. Short stack on the front. Tighten any of these down until I'm ready at the very end because it's you need to keep these loose as you fit that other as you fit the main exhaust assembly to it and those those coupling clamps because you won't if you tighten these up they won't there's a lot of there's a lot of play right here they'll move um, so you definitely want these loose so they can settle into place where it likes it based on the actual muffler that you have. Um, so that would be a good point if you ever had to replace your muffler and you're going to reuse these sacks. These would have to get loosened again because they need to kind of float and move around as those things go up and settle, settle in. I got the stacks on. I just got them on with just one, one nut each. And I got the little clamps out. Let's get, the, get this thing up here. We'll see if we can get it mounted. We'll see if this one goes on easier than the last one I did. It's a little bit of, a little bit of convincing. And uh, kind of stretching on the on the last 150 horsepower when I put this on. All right, so I'm just gonna bring this up. Kind of rest just on the air, air filter box. So we get two of these on. It's kind of nice. You can kind of snap them into place and just kind of put one or one or two on there. Let's see. Just pull that back off. Get it going in first. All right, get.
getting these going. Let's get a couple of nuts and bolts started. These, you kind of got to play with it once you get your spark plug and spark plug wires in where you want the orientation. Kind of set yourself up for the future in case you got to get in there and mess with it. don't have spark plugs in, but I do have distance installed, keeping the engine dry when it's not in use. Alright, on the other side. These are all universal, right way or wrong way here. It is important to note I am doing this temporarily and this will this will definitely come off again before it gets final tightened and when it does I will put some sort of exhaust lubrication in these slip joints right here and I, an exhaust and I see so. um, probably not overly important in this application but I would say worth worth doing. Keep that contact area, any sort of excessive corrosion, and make it easier to get it get it off for maintenance if and when the time comes. And same thing on this side as the other. Just gonna get some, just a couple of the fasteners going, just temporarily hold all this in place so it doesn't drop off on me. Then, yep, like to give it a little kind of a little jostling back and forth, kind of both sides, let that settle. Like I said, these things will be everything's kind of loose, so it kind of gets you know, it's not stressed stress in any certain joint or at the at the cylinder flanges. Um, so I think that's important to do. Maybe I'll just keep keep the exhaust system lasting longer, re really reduce your chance of cracks in it. Then I've got this new, new fancy style. Try this out, see how it fits. That ah, fits really nicely. That link looks about right, too. Now, yeah, we'll have to play with that. I don't think you could get away with just running that straight pipe like that, because my cowl is going to come right about there, and that might be a little bit tight, especially with a fiberglass cowl. It's going to be putting some heat out. So, really, think about it. It's probably only about a six, seven inch. Kind of port there and then hit that in the wind and direct that so you're either not getting on the gear legs or getting any fumes in the cockpit. So I think that's nice, that's about the perfect length. Last one was, like I said, it came out to probably about, about here. Um, it was too much where you don't, you don't you end up having to cut it down. So, I like that, that's a good, that's a good link. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run the template, tape it to the bottom here, in a couple different spots so it doesn't move, and then I'll fold it back and tape it later whenever I mount the cowling, and I'll fold that piece of paper up here and find some sort of point to it, or maybe run a, uh, um, just a yardstick off the bottom here to figure out exactly where um, these this guy needs to, needs to come out, and then that hole will get cut considerably bigger than what this actually exhaust is because it's going through at an angle. So it's actually gonna almost end up being like a four or five inch hole in that in that exhaust that you have to cut. So that's a whole nother, another deal. I've got some hole saw bits that'll that'll do that. Uh, the last plant I did, I just used a nibbler and uh, was able to get a pretty good, pretty good circle out of it. So that's that, that's with it installed. All right, so let's get a good look at it here. Kind of walk around. So, well, this Sutton exhaust is held by, I think, the original STC holder, um, Brian Sutton. It is all drop shipped from, I believe, Acorn Welding. So they have the plans. So I think he's selling the paperwork, rightfully so. And they are just building these things on demand and kicking them out. So quality welding from a, from a high volume 
you know, exhaust shop. So this isn't something. So definitely good, definitely good quality. I like that they're including the gaskets. This, this is so rare, and the hardware especially. That's so rare anymore in any of this um, certified aviation stuff. You have to go shopping around for everything you need on the back side. Um, heat shroud does have screws on top, so you can access that and inspect. Um, the last one I did, I did have to modify this a little bit because it was right here actually on this corner. Um, I had to end up, I had to bend that in just a tad, and then I had to to round out this this edge right there, that corner, because the cowling was one to rub right into it. So I had to give it just about that much clearance to make that one work. But it wasn't too big of a deal, and uh, I'm happy with it. So that that other little pipe mount will go right here, and we'll get a little bit of air comes right into to this guy. We'll go through the shroud it'll be heated it'll come out one's going to the carb um carb heat and the other one is going to the heater and that's how that'll work and it it makes good heat despite being a little bit smaller form exhaust and it keeps this whole area back this is where the original piper exhaust went it just right through there it would rub against the firewall it was it was impossible to get to so you had to swing them out to get to it um kind of a really annoying design. You couldn't do anything behind the engine with that exhaust on it. The leading edge exhaust and this one, both forward mount. Uh, this one's a, it's a really lightweight exhaust too. Um, yep, it's the way to go. Don't, uh, I had the Atlee Dodge hot rod exhaust on a couple Cubs. Um, it's a really loud muffler. It does probably open up from a stock exhaust and give you a little bit more power. Um, I would say this exhaust right here is gonna give you as much as the Atlee hot rod, if not maybe just a little bit more um just due to how it how it flows through and the access and the maintenance and just the build and the price all of it together um kind of makes it makes it a no-brainer for me well there it is let's wrap it up we got the exhaust on there it's sharp looking it's going to sound good and it's going to help this so 360 breathe